Hello all, Shoestring here. I am doing a monthly update, a month, four weeks update, of this new charge controller that I showed everyone about, well, a month ago, and show you how it operated, how it functioned. And now I have been charging batteries with it. At the moment, this is a AGM 12 volt, 18 amp hour battery. But I've been charging other batteries, and unfortunately, this is not working out very well. The reason is the numbers it's give us for the voltage is not always correct, and it doesn't stay at the voltage you set for it. So this may say 13.6 at the moment, and it may actually be. But many times I've come out and checked it with the multimeter, and it simply was not the correct number. So, that is the reason why I'm not going to recommend this. Okay, so let's cover a few simple questions. Will it charge a battery? Wet lead acid. Yes, it will charge the battery. And if you have one of these... You can actually use it and charge up a battery. Remember, unlike the blue ones, this one will not do lithium. It will do wet lead acid and AGM. So if you have one of these, if you purchase one, can you use it to charge up a battery? Yes, you can. But you can't trust the voltage number. Many times it's right, but a few times it is not. And when it's not right, it can damage your battery. You can't just leave it alone. The settings you set for it don't stay. So I'll set this for 13.7, for instance. Just saying that's what I want it to be. And I'll come out after a couple hours when I have it all set up charging well, and it will be 14. I never set it for 14, and I probably didn't want that battery to go to 14. So you have to, now maybe just this one, but I suspect not. So if you can't trust the settings, and you can't always trust what it says the voltage is, then you really can't trust the charge controller itself, in which case I simply can't recommend it to anyone. If you have one, yes, you can use it, of course, but use a multimeter and check what the actual voltage is every couple hours. USBs continue to work, but that isn't really going to make up for that it can't do its primary function, which is to safely charge the battery if the numbers aren't going to work. Now, if you have one of these and yours does work, put it down in the comments and let us know. I could have got a defective model, I guess, but I have to say... I do not recommend this one because this one, the numbers do not work. And remember, it only has one B setting. Right there. You can't change it to B2 or B3. So it will not do anything except wet lead acid and AGM. It will not do lithium batteries. And a lot of people are going to lithium batteries then. So their shoestring recommendation, if you don't have this one, then don't. If you do have this one and you're using it, feel free, but please watch it so it does not charge up and destroy your battery. I'm going to put two links down. I'm going to put a link to the video where I unboxed it and show you how it worked. And then I'm going to put a link down directly to where you can go to Amazon and see it. So you'll know not to buy that one. Okay. Recommendation fail. If you have any other ideas, if you have one that works well for you, put it in the comments. If anyone else has any questions, put those in the comments as well. If you like this type of video, please subscribe and like it. And shoestring 